What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Cooking Without Pants On, where today we are going to be finally continuing our playthrough of Dark Souls 2 with a completely max level character. Uh, for those who missed the, uh, for those who missed the first episode, you can go back and watch it at any time. This is only the second episode, so, you know, um, but it's been like a month since I last played this. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, so... So what were we doing? <clears throat> um, why we were? I just finished killing the. I just killed the old dragon slayer. So what we are gonna do now is we are gonna go back to the blue cathedral. Cathedral. Actually, hold on. I know what I can do. I have a better idea. Right here, the tower of flame. Yeah, this this will get us closer to where we go. Next, we're gonna go to it's a, I think it's a location called the Dead Man's Wharf. I think is what it is, but it's basically uh, we're gonna for a fight a bunch of pirates. <laughs> so, yep. <clears throat> so, I've been really I've been I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's just you know life is completely fucking crazy, and yeah. So, oh God, why am I turning around? Um, I think there's a goodie at the bottom of these. Yeah, there you are. Monastery Charm. I don't remember what mon- I think Monastery Charms are- I don't remember. Okay, so there's some enemies in here. More of the big- more of the big giant night dudes that we fought. Ah! How do you play this game? Alright, that was easy. <coughs> so you are going to be hearing me drinking water because- after this recording, I am going to be going and uh, donating plasma. To pray, it's, it's a normal thing, actually, right now. It just gives me some extra money in my life so that I, you know, don't become homeless and shit. Let's me have. Let's me still have fun, while not having fun. Um. So what's down here? Actually, let me go look at the shit I just picked up. I'm not even. I'm not even fucking paying attention. What the hell's going on? Okay, that's all the weapons I have. I don't give a shit about any of them. Lots of shields. Is this tower shield better? I don't. The saint's dress. Wear a fucking dress. Yeah, not better. Fucking hell no, not better. Definitely not better, and definitely not better. Alright, well, this tower shield I was seeing. Better some ways, not better in other ways, and it's also it's also way heavier too. Holy shit! Uh, uh, uh. So it requires thirty strength, and it has the same kind of scaling. It gives me a hundred percent. It gives me a hundred percent defense against slashing, which is I'm only. It's only a ten. I, I'm just gonna keep my regular shield. It's lighter. It's like it's like freaking lighter by like eight pounds. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> fucking, fucking asshole. Homie didn't even know I was max level. What a shame. Sublime bone dust. That is the good shit. So that will allow me to um, permanently upgrade. How much my Estus Flask heals me. Which is fucking epic. Fucking legendary. Alright, big elevator. <clears throat> While we are going on our... We're getting deployed. I'm gonna drink some Wawa. Ugh! Take a look at my ring. Since that it's been so long since I last played this game, I forgot what the hell I even have equipped. So, the Ring of Life, the Chlorinthy Ring, the Ring of Blades, and then the Ring of Binding. That was HP reduction. Hold on. Awesome. So, any, yeah, since I've since I'm already max level, and I've still got a was at 602 million souls. Um, anything involving money or getting more money is not important to me, which makes which makes everything really. Nice and simple, because that frees up space for other more important things. That is a fucker. That fucker right there causes uh, petrification. 
Ah! Do I have a fragrant branch? I do! Is this guy evil? Is homie evil? Yeah, he is. Okay, he's dead now. Put him out of his f fucking misery. I don't... Holy shit. Try ranged battle. I don't think you know who I am, dog. Easy. Rusted Mastodon Gauntlets. Are those better? No. God, no. Holy shit. Whose idea was this? Is this a fucking... God damn, I swear, this better not be a mimic. Okay, it's not a mimic. I think it's just... A... It's not trapped. How the fuck did that guy die right here, then? What the fuck? He probably got... Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my, he probably got chased. I just got the knight set, though. Yeah, so if I decide to play as the knight, these are all the... The, the knight the knight set is what I would have got. So I think it's these falconer gloves. No, no, the knight gauntlets. Yep, yeah, but obviously it's not better because what the fuck... What does this one say? Thrust ahead? Thrust butthole? Oh, hell yeah. That's this flash shard, and I can increase total number of uses. Look carefully. Well, I don't know what's behind there. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, though. So. <clears throat> My ultimate plans for this series are, I think I would like to fight every single boss in the game, but that'd be a pretty long series, which I wouldn't have a problem with. I would, I would, I've never actually completed an all-bosses run in this uh, game before. I'd, ha I'd have to use some <laughs> giant butthole. <laughs> Fuck. I'd have to use <coughs> some... Or not, I'd have to like use like a map to tell me where everything is, because this game is... All the Souls games usually can end up being pretty fucking confusing. Rest here real quick. I'm gonna burn the sublime bone dust. Oh, I, I, yeah, yeah, never mind. The unseen path to hide. Heidi, Haiti. I don't know. I, I always just called it Hade. Hade's Tower of Flame. We're back in Majula, which now I can burn the sublime bone dust which permanently increases the effectiveness of my estisk flask i can go talk to i can go talk to the lady is that a shard you found here let me see it so that i may help you to see light to see hope however faint it might be uh upgrade estisk flask That increases the total number of uses. Oh, I had two! Hell yeah! Didn't even know. Right. And we're done here. So now we have four uses of the Essence Flask, and it gives additional health now on top of that. Let's see. Yo. Why are these orange? I don't know. I never, I never realized what the difference between orange and white is was. Maybe it just means that I have unfinished stuff there to do. I think that's what it means, because, like, or maybe there's still a boss there for me to fight. I am unsure. I know not. Okay, but now we're going to be heading into the dead man, or dead man, no, no man's wharf, that's what it is. <gasps> there is an asshole shooting arrows at me, I'm going to go fight him to the death real quick. That has to be... Yeah, there, there's, look at this fucking fucker. You have to be really fucking careful in this area because... 
you can so easily fall off and it does not matter how deep water in this game is you die instantly except for right here I just walk really fucking slow but that's a large soul of an undead give me did I fucking pick it up or not oh my inventory is full excuse me excuse me bitch <clears throat> okay if that's the case I'm not going to use any of the boss souls because there is a merchant that we can go to that we can trade in the boss souls to get boss weapons. So. What the fuck you mean, still full? God damn it. Okay. Now what? Fucking, uh... <clears throat> give me, give me the monastery charm. I'll take that. Give me the divine blessings. And just, yeah, give me, give me the, give me the, give me the ooze. The secret of the ooze. <laughs> I still can't fucking. What the hell is going on, dog? Is it be? No, I don't make any fucking sense. I'm really confused, honestly, right now. It's okay. It's just a fucking... It's just a lost soul of an undead and a life gem. It's not that important. Well, he survived. Incredible. So I was able to pick those up. How the fuck? What? Ah! Okay. Homie got that Varongian armor. Ah! What the? Forgot. I forgot he did that. I have to be careful with this guy because he does, like, some stupid shit where he's gonna... Okay, he didn't do it, luckily. Iron arrows. Oh, yeah, my 99 life gems. When did I do that? I actually don't know, now that you mention it. Ally ahead, therefore, hurrah for torch. Oh, yeah, contrary to popular belief, this is not a ladder. Um, what's up here? Back? Uh, I have one. Dog. Don't know why the dogs cause bleeding. That doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Hey yo. Jokes on you, I know secrets. Yeah. Human effigy. I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> The longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A wretched place, indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? Ah, yes. I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. This is for you. Oh! Of course, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Our land of mirror is surrounded by enemies and constantly at war. There is only one way up in mirror. Join the order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself with two things. My sword and my loyalty to my lord. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here... to... Have you heard of the undead? These poor souls affected by the curse. An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. 
and a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true, I can only hope that they are. Bruh. I'm sorry to burden you with talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary these days. How are you talking without moving your lips? I'm sorry. To bed, I suppose. Okay, uh, thank you, Shaltier. Or I think that's what her name is. Uh, yeah. I don't know if she wears the mask because she's slowly turning hollow, or she just wears it for like the like the special like warrior lifestyle thing. I am unsure. Ah! Okay, let me use a life gem real quick, just because I have too many of them. Hurrah for pointless! Like a dream? Okay. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Don't know why, per se, exactly. There's a bunch of lamp oil inside of that thing. Look at this dude! Look at these dudes! Fuck, damn it. Look at these dudes! What is this much to say? Ranged battle? Oh, yeah, you can. What? Oh, he throws stuff. He throws. What the hell is that? Oh, is this fucking thing. So, yeah, these things are fucking super mega scary, and they also cause outrageous amounts of bleeding. But, since I deal so much damage, I can stagger them each time I hit them. It's real nice. It's real nice. Gotta get some lights. Gotta get, gotta get some lights. I got Emit Force. I'm a Jedi. Oh, it's nice. So, a lot of the time, he won't even wait for you to open up the door. He'll just... Man, they almost bled the shit out of me. Good thing my fucking... Good thing my, uh... <coughs> my resistance is so high. Ah! Gavlon? Is Gavlon in here? No, where's... Where's Gavlon? Visions of wheel, but not here. A great sword. Not that I'm actually, not that I actually have intentions of using it, but I just want to look at it. Look at it's so fucking. Look at this fucking thing, dude. Holy shit! I actually swing it really fast. Hold on, I might have to use this. Ah! I think I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking, I'm gonna do a big pog move and use the great sword for right now. I'm just gonna see how, I'm just gonna see if it's really good or not. I don't actually think it, I mean, it just straight up looks like the fucking buster sword or guts's sword from Berserk. Okay, it's not better than my, than the drang like sword, which is really fucking weird actually. Even though it's... You fucking asshole. Where is he? But I am going to use it just because it's funny. Oh, well maybe that does kill me. That guy was just... Special. The Varangian armor. Which is not better. Okay, I made that, so when I first played this game, I made the biggest fucking fuck up of all time. You have to, so the thing is, you pull this lever and that causes that ship right there to come in, which allows you to get on it. 
Um, I had no fucking idea that I was... I didn't know the Switch was here because it's a little bit hidden if you're not just... You don't have your eyes open. So I completely fucking walked past it for like 30 minutes. I was like, what do I, what do I fucking do in this area? And I finally came back up here and found the fucking Switch. You just jump down here. Down here. And annihilate... Eviscerate that man. A sea bow. Got a couple of sea dogs. Okay. Ow. <laughs> I think it's still crazy how he actually swings it pretty fast. Like, he swings it as fast as he swings the Dragon Lake Sword. So I don't know if it's, like, it's actually heavy or if he's just doing it for, like, you know, the lols. Oh, I could've just... Okay, well... That happened. Okay, we go down here now. Oh my god, that's a... Who this dude? Doesn't matter, he's dead. I killed him. What's in here? House? My sword is so big, it makes me wonder how I can carry it anywhere. Just like, it just gets, like, it, like, gets stuck on door frames all the damn time. Oh, Gavlon! Who are you? I, Gavlan. Gavlan will, Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many soul. <laughs> what you want. With Gavlan, you will, you deal. <laughs> so this guy is, he's Lonesome Gavlan, he's a merchant. He sells... Bunch of fucking awesome stuff too, like the freaking Ring of Giants, which increases my poise, which is fucking epic. Sells a bunch of poison. He mostly sells poison stuff. He sells, I think he sells more in the future, but I don't you know. I am gonna buy the Ring of Giants just because it's here. I'm gonna talk. Gavlan will, Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. What you with Gavlan? Gavlan, ga what with Gavlan? Okay, he just says the same Ready shit. Never mind. Oh, there's a thingy right here. What do you drop? Wrong and Ah! I cannot roll through that. Okay. Well, so so at least I know where they moved Gavlin now. Gavlin doesn't actually sell anything useful aside from the Ring of Giants. He's just the community just loves him because he's just a fucking he's just a, he's just a, a big fat dude who loves life. God, I fucking hate these things. Oh, I hate them specifically only because they cause bleed and no other reason. Mm. Mm, human effigy. Hell yeah. Come here, bitch. Oh, I forgot I have a heavy attack too. <laughs> Whoopsie. Where do I put my sword? So as you can see those guys hanging there, you can just knock them off and they just fall forever. I'm oh, sorry, if I go over here, there's a magic man over here who teach me more about magic. I've actually been honestly thinking if I want to just do like a meme magic run now that I'm a freaking super god. But I've not done it yet. Look at this dude. Hmm. I sense power. Very well. From this day, you shall be my new pupil. I am Carillion. 
Carillion of the Foam. Surely you've heard the name. Now, now, do not be afraid. Let us explore the limits of sorcery. Ah, here, a fitting gift for you. Nor the ritual Seek band. higher planes, young pupil. The forces of magic and souls lie dormant in this land. It is a fitting place to hone my sorceries. I suspect that I may even conjure up new spells here. Sorcery is yet a mystery, even to me. Let us mature together, young pupil. Use scrolls to unleash the power of sorceries. But the power of each scroll is reliant on that of its owner. The untrained cannot wield a scroll to its proper potential. Never forget, young pupil. There are no shortcuts to mastery. The forces of magic and so it is I see. Okay. Source He's just repeating himself at that point, but he sells basically everything you'd ever need to be a mage. So I'll buy both the rings just cause I can. He sells. Yeah, it's the simple than spice. Which I will buy, I guess, just because I can. And he sells all of these sorceries. So, Soul Arrow, Great Soul Arrow, Heavy Soul Arrow, Great Heavy Soul Arrow, Shockwave, Soul Spear Barrage, Magic Weapon, Yearn. That I've never said. The thing about this guy, if you're magic. Young pupil, do not take my teachings lightly. The thing about this guy, if your magic is not high enough, or if your intelligence is not high enough, he will he will refuse to speak with you. you he will not teach you magic. But since my magic is really fucking high, um, he's like, yeah, I'll definitely teach you. Yeah, yeah, come here. And of course, I can just I just have all, enough money to buy all the spells I could ever want. So, if I really wanted to just hardcore pivot into an all magic run, I absolutely could do it. It'd be <laughs> be the best shit on the planet. Quagmire ahead, but weakness lightning. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> He's dead. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. If I die in... The first time I die in this run is almost 100% gonna be because I fell off a cliff. Or I fell off of something and died. It is not, I, I guarantee it is not going to be for any reason. Most of the time when it comes to any game where you can die and there's also like cliffs you can fall off of, I almost always die because of a cliff. I, I rarely ever die because an enemy actually shot me. So, right, but we have a boss coming up. He's right down here. In the bow of the or the bottom of the ship, it's the uh, it is the flexile sentry. He's a pretty easy boss. Actually, this should not be a problem for me at all. And just like most other things, he causes fucking bleed. I mean, he takes just ideal of fucking ass load of damage to him, so. And so. The only thing about him that's really dangerous is that he causes bleed, but, yep, dispatched with haste. The flexile sentry soul. Now we go this way, up the ladder. Where did my weapons go? We got a nice chest as a reward. The pyromancy flame and the fireball, so if I wanted to become a pyromancer. Then we touch. We touch. And now we set sail. 
Let me quickly check how long I've been recording for. 30 minutes, exactly. Hell yeah. So, and if you look, you can actually see the Lost Bastille in the distance, which is a place we've already been to, but we're going, this is another way that you can get to it, is by going through the, is by going through No Man's Wharf and heading this way. If you're wondering where all the bloodstains and the messages came from, it's because I forgot to put my Steam into offline mode before I came here. Or before I started the record, before I started the video. Fuck off, Sloot! God, why does he do that? Was he about to throw something at me, or was he about to heal? I wonder if those guys can heal. That'd be fucking crazy. Let's see. I am gonna go back... Probably to Leningrast and see if I can upgrade the shit out of this thing. I feel like the Great Sword probably takes Twinkling Titanite, but there is a chance that it doesn't, I would say. So, can I can I go into any of these? I've never, I don't know if I've ever actually... Yeah, I can go into this one. There's nothing in here. I, oh, I spoke too soon. Soul of a Proud Knight. Oh my god. Yeah, the, yeah, there really is nothing in this one. I, yeah, oh yeah, it looks like my durability with the sword is way down. I probably will just go back to the Drang Lake sword just because it is probably, a, I mean, after it's upgraded, it will be a better weapon. But I actually, I have to find Twinkling Titanite first, which is not the easiest to get because it's relatively rare. Bonfire. 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 Okay, back to Majula and the Farfire. So... I'm gonna go unarmed just so I don't intimidate Lenigrest. Huh. I'd give you up for dead. So reinforce you. Oh yeah, it's just regular tight night shards. Tight night chunk, yeah. But it does pretty stupid crazy damage now. Drang Lake Sword takes Twinkling Tight Night, which I still don't have. The Idol's Chime, the Cleric Sacred Chime. Holy shit, look at the difference between these two. God damn. Ultra Greatsword. Can I upgrade any of my armor? No, I cannot upgrade. Yeah, yeah. All all of the Drang Lake set takes regular takes a twinkling titanite. I'll be around if you may. Okay, but I upgraded my super sword. Actually hold on, I didn't even see. Can I upgrade my shield at all? Does it or unless it also takes twinkling titanite? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Now my shield is a fucking thousand times better. Hell yeah, that was a good, that was a good thingy. What the fuck is she? You having a good time? You having fun relaxing? Okay. Uh, Lost Bastille to the Exile Holding Cells, which is the one that we just discovered. There we go. We continue up the stairs. <laughs> there's, there's a dude over there, and there's... You fucking asshole. You thought you could fuck me. Fucking asshole thought he could shoot me. And who the fuck is... Motherfucking dick. 
Okay. I think this is... Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. I was going to say, I think this is a place where the pursuer shows up. This is getting saucy just because there's all these other dudes here. Come on. Did he fucking... Did he fucking leave? Motherfucker, you can't just leave in the middle of our fucking epic duel. Where the hell did he go? Freaking used all of my Estus flasks. Right there. Did he just fucking... Did he leave because he thought I was going to kill him? What the fuck is going on? Maybe he'll, maybe he'll reappear if I come back. I mean, because I didn't die. I just kicked his ass and he decided... It was too much. Okay. Um, I'm gonna rest here real quick. I wonder if though I wonder if the pursuer will spawn back. I hoped flame. I guess I, I guess I cannot be gone. Be gone. Be gone. It's locked. God damn it. Sorry, dogs. Now there he fucking is. Come here, you son of a bitch. We're not done yet. We're gonna heavily. You fucking asshole. Dog, stay back. God damn it, dude. Fucking dog. Got him! Give me your shit. Oh, Twinkling Titanite. That's exactly what I fucking need. Hell yeah. Be wary of ambush. Tough enemy. I mean, immediately, I'm gonna go use this shit. And of course, I got fucking curse, which means that I'm technically hollow now, but... It's okay. Okay. 
Lenny Grass, I have stuff for you. Mm. Uh, reinforced weapon slash armor. My Dranglake sword, if you wouldn't mind, Lenny Grass. I'll be around. Oh, that's right. In this chest, there's actually like a bow or a crossbow or something, along with some. Yeah, the short bow. It's a free bow that you can get. Right, back to what I was doing. Let's go back to yeah, McDuff's workshop. Bye, homie. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I like the the great sword, although it's surprisingly hard to hit people with it. <laughs> Dumbass. So, we are going to go up right here across this pillar, because this will lead us to the next places for us to go. Oh, but I need a fragrant branch of yore to somebody. Please tell me somebody sells one of those. Well, fuck. Now we gotta... Go back this way. Uh, there's got to be somebody that sells fragrant branches. If I go back down here, maybe, maybe, maybe McDuff has one? I don't fucking know. Um, McDuff, do you by okay. chance sell... Yes, thank you. Um, do you by chance sell fragrant... What the... Large Titanite shards! God damn! Cannot hold any more of this item. Wooden bolts, heavy bolts. Okay. He does not sell fragrant branches of your fuck. Thug. Okay, let's go back to Majula because freaking the the, the old ass ladies there. Yeah, that lady. On you. No, she's out. Fuck. I want to buy some of these though. Damn it! Who the fuck? Thank you. Um, full fuck. Okay, let's. I guess while we're here, let's do some exploring around Majula. I haven't actually talked to the other residents. Um, but in here is a cat lady. Where is she? There she is. Oh, I'm dead, are we? You like the taste of my I hilt? Not much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not well. Oh. Suit yourself. Oh yes. You may call me Shalqua. Enchante. So, ooh, you smell. Uh, she sells rings. The cat ring, which reduces fall damage, absorb HP from each defeated foe. Easier to be detected by enemies. Easier to connect with players who choose the same god. You can hear voices. Don't know what that means, but you know. This place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Satisfied? Right. I'll be around if you ever come back. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, over here, this guy's actually an armor merchant. I can actually talk to him. Uh, oh, oh hello there. W welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin, and I, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I... 
Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. Don't worry, homie. I'm about to buy every last bit of fucking armor you got. I am gonna buy. I can buy a 999 of them. Why the fuck would I ever do that? But. Let's see. Hmm. Let me get a. Let me get a. Let me get a look see at this falconer armor. I came from the west, from Volgan. Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Very competitive, of course. And you, you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. It's been years since then I've. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down and dying. It was ter terrible for business, really. Thanks very much. Okay, we actually also go up here because I'm gonna go into his bedroom where he sleeps. This is not his bedroom. But I don't actually. Hmm, tight night trade. Yep, so. The most basic of basic shits. So, no, so now we can go in here, actually. Since I talked to the guy, we have that mansion key that we got. The house key. Look at the size of this fucking book, dude. Like, how do you even... How do you even pick up a book that size? Oh, I think I can hear Skeleto Boy messing around. But here is this is a map of the entire continent. This is a map of Drang Lake, and um, each one of the bonfires is one of like the primal bonfires or something. It's it's lore stuff. You just you know it's not it's not extremely important. Come on, you Skeleto ass. He drops a human effigy. How fucking useless. Almost, actually, almost. It's not useless, because I do actually need one right now. The soul vessel. Don't actually know what the soul vessel is for, but I know it's really important. Okay, back up this way. Of course, there are other places to explore as well, like there's an entire second floor. Please don't be a trapped chest. I can come out here onto the, the, the patio or whatever the fuck. The upper deck. Upper dick. This honestly would be a really pretty nice house to live in if the world wasn't like fucking ending all the time. Pigs, there they go. It's okay, I'm gonna be nice to him for right now. Um, so let's see. We don't have a fragrant branch of yore right now, which means that I cannot means that I can't go that way just yet until I can find somebody who sells them. Which, who fucking knows when that's gonna be. Um, so in that case, where can I travel to next? <laughs> to the wharf, things betwixt, no... Forest to Fallen Giants. I don't know if anything... Well, I know that there's other stuff there. Man, what the fuck? I'm confused. I need to figure out where the fuck... Well, I mean, well, we can go this way. I know that. Because we can go up here. This is a place we have not been to yet. 
Well, actually, hold on. I think I'm thinking of something different, maybe? Yeah, yeah, because we have, we have not been up here yet. Through this place. Up, up, and up, up, and up, and up, and up, and up, up, and up, and up, and up, through here. We got this dude with the big ass glowing sword. Please be a fragrant branch. No, it is not. Look at this stinky dude. So. Dude got like swollen balls or something. Yeah, but. No, so no fragrant branches over here. Fuck, I cannot think of... I guess I have to talk to this guy. Have you business with me? The way you're under is all blocked up, you see. By this god-office statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof, I'm in quite the pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough. It starts to look alive. Ah, it... <laughs> This doesn't he seem quite right. There are no craftsmen around these parts. Hey, you don't think a real life person was turned to stone, do you? See that statue? Gives me the well. Ah, hey. Well, so, but that guy's basically telling us uh, that um, that is that is a real person who's been turned to stone. You have to use the fragrant branch of yore to reverse the petrification. And then, yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> um, so, so, whenever we un, whenever we reverse the petrification on that girl who's frozen in stone there, she, um, she, she can actually teach us pyromancies, which is pretty fucking awesome. Who the fuck do I buy fragrant branches of your from? Your balls. Your mom. Fragrant branch of your mom. Oh, but here's this girl finally. Oh, hello there. An honor to see you again. This room is not as it seems. There are two, not one, pathways leading out. And only this lovely thing reveals the other path. And this, you lovely thing, only runs on miracles. Shall I provide you with one? You gotta pay her 2,000 bucks just so she can turn the room for you. But... It does unlock a brand new path in the game that we have not been to yet, so... At least that's something for us to do. Anything else I can buy from her? The Ring of Prayer, yeah, sure. She has no more prayers for me to hear. Thank you. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. The rouge water, the rouge water. Rogue. That's not how you say it, but... So, alright, so we, next we are going to a, uh, a cool place. It's akin to, like, a swamp-ass forest. And, um, you guys are gonna start seeing some, uh, some, like, powder stuff fall from the ceiling soon. Uh, that's because there's, like, a, uh, the, the, yeah, you'll see. But this place is really cool. I can all I feel like I can never remember how to get here. And then once I actually start on the path, I'm like, oh fuck, is this place? The dark stirs. I see it. The dark is sparked within you. My name is Helgen. I will track with you what you need. Uh what does this guy sell? I actually don't know who this guy is. Probably because he might be a Nullifies death but breaks. That's a good ring to have. Dark pine resin. Yeah, I'll buy a lot of that. And he sells hexes. Ooh. 
Dark Orb, Dark Weapon, Resonant Soul, Great Resonant Soul, Resonant Flesh, Resonant Weapon. A lot of resonance going on. These are for you. Whoa, the hex are set. Together into the dark. This land lies closest to the dark. That, 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 is, that is why I came here. This kingdom collapsed long ago. All that are left are either undead or hollow. Say the few years ago, like I felt. <laughs> I, went, I, went to, I went to a great school in the south, but neither sorcery nor pyromancy appealed. I, I, I learned nothing. Nothing at all, but it, it was there that I happened upon the dark. It drew me in the nebulous dark. Soon I was drawn to this land where dark runs deeper than anywhere else. Hexes originated here in ancient times. They were once a form of sorcery, but the practice was lost, then later rediscovered. Those devoted to hexes are, are a lonely lot. Nevertheless, they give their life to their art. Such is the fate of we practitioners of dark. What drew me to the dark? I do not know. Hexes are more than mere tools to me. I feel affinity and warmth, something universal. Nostalgia, even. Those who discover dark realize this. They never come back. This land, this king, all that are left, take the previous things, like... Well, guy just told us his whole life story, and we didn't even tell him our name yet. Welcome to the Huntsman's Copes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Alright, so, bonfire lit AF. Anything to burn? Yeah, I guess I do need a human effigy. The human FG and blocks invaders from beyond. Oh, well. Never mind then. That's not how I even wanted to use the human effigy on myself. Sorry. Get all my health back. Try that again. My item box. The fucking. Okay. Um. Then. Try jump attack. Yeah, no thanks. Um, let's see, how long have I been recording for? 58 minutes? Yep, so, um, with that being said, I'm going to end the recording here. If you all enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to see more content just like this in future. Whenever you all do that for me, helps me stay motivated to make more content for you all in the future. Uh, as a reminder, we are only 12 subscribers away from 700 subscribers here on the channel, so please... If you enjoyed this video or any of the other videos on my channel, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Um, please join the Discord and the Patreon to um, show your support for the channel to help the channel grow even faster. Once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye!